What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you guys just how easy it is to install a frosted privacy screen with zero adhesive. That means anytime you wanna remove this, whether it's in a few days or a few years, you simply peel it back off. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. All right guys, so to install the window film, there's only a couple things that you'll need. Number one, obviously, is our window film. So this one here is from a company called Pillar. Very, very cheap, it costs about $20, $25 for a roll. Um, so this one here is a frost and it's static. So that means no adhesive required, no adhesive on the back of this. Anytime you wanna remove it, it simply peels off the window, nice and simple. It'll take you a couple seconds to remove. No cleaning whatsoever afterwards. Um, so this one here simply comes in a roll like this. And the tools that we're gonna need is a spray bottle. Now this spray bottle here just has water and dishwashing detergent in there. So um, try and use a dishwashing detergent that doesn't have any harsh chemicals in there. If you don't have anything around the house, use baby shampoo. Um, there's not many chemicals or any hopefully in baby shampoo, they leave that for the adults. Um, so spray bottle, little bit of soapy water in there from dishwashing detergent, masking tape, that's gonna help us um, separate the two films. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. And when it comes to the actual tools, you can buy these from your hardware store as well. Um, they're literally probably about $8 for a squeegee, a little blade. Um, but I've got one of these kits that I purchased a long time ago for other window film um, that I've shown you guys how to tint windows with. Um, and this one here lasts honestly a lifetime. So just keep using it. We've got our little razor blade here. This one here is a little bit blunt and I don't have any more refills. So I'm just going to be using a regular razor blade like this one here. We've got our squeegee and we've got our little edging tool. So that's pretty much all we need. What I'm going to do now is measure up the window um, and leave a little bit of overhang on either side. So just measure the width, measure the height of the actual window that we're going to be tinting or frosting um, and just leave a little bit of overhang. Cut this one here down to size with a pair of scissors and then we're ready to get started. So now we've got our privacy film cut. You can see it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you've got a little bit of overhang on either side. What we're gonna do is take our spray bottle, get that one there ready, and we're gonna take our masking tape. Now the reason why we use masking tape is it's a little bit difficult to separate the um, two films. You can do it, it just takes a little bit of time. So what I do is I'll take the masking tape, put that on the corner like this. We'll take the other piece, put it on the other side and then we're going to pull the two apart. So you can see right there I've now separated the two films. Now because this one here is frosted I know that my clear one is going to be the one that I discard and I'm going to be keeping my frosted film. So I've got the piece separated now and it helps to have a second pair of hands. However if you don't have a second pair of hands we're going to do it a little bit like a monkey just use your feet as well. Press that one there down. This one here is the overhang so it doesn't matter take the spray bottle and we're going to spray as much as we can onto that frosted area. That's going to stop it from sticking. So now we've got that one there ready. And once again, spray the window. Now we can take our film and just apply that to the middle here of our glass. Remembering we've got a little bit of overhang on either side, simply press that in the middle and that's gonna to start to adhere or stick to the window. We can then take our squeegee, run it up from the center, run it back down, almost like putting a cross in the middle of our film here. And that's just going to spread everything out and get it to stick roughly in the final position. Now you might be thinking, why am I frosting this window here? Now there's a little bit of construction going on next door. And I do have window coverings here. So we've got our Roman blinds that I've shown you guys how to install as well. But just for that little bit of added privacy in case there's a peeping Tom trying to look through any gaps that we've got in our coverings. That's the reason why we've got this on here. So this is a perfect solution for anybody that's renting, anybody that just wants a temporary um, type of frosting or even a permanent. You can leave this on there for a couple of days, you can leave it on there for a couple of years, 
To remove it, you simply just come back to the corner and peel that one there off. So now we're gonna get in nice and close that we've blocked out the light. I'll show you guys how to trim all of this down and get it to fit the window. So now we take our edging tool and what this does is help push that um, window film over to the edge so you know where the finish line's gonna be. We take our razor blade or our utility knife and then we're gonna trim that one there down to size. So the hardest part is probably the corners right here. So what I like to do is start in the corner. We take this point bring it into the corner. I'll put the links in the description in case you want to get a kit like this. Makes life a little bit easier. So put it into the corner, put it on a bit of an angle facing down, and we're just going to slide that one there across. I'll try not to block the camera's view. Slide it all the way across like this. As far as we can go on that side. And now we can separate this bit here. So I like to cut the excess or trim the excess as I go. That makes it a lot easier to manage. So I'll just cut that one there off again. So once again, run the edging tool and your blade all the way down. Come down as far as you can. We'll flip the tool around. And we're gonna trim off this excess once again. It makes it a lot more manageable once the pieces start getting down nice and small. And then we can come down and we can clean up as much as possible in this corner right here. Push that one there in and we're going to repeat the process all the way around. And it's just a repetitive process all the way around now. We're just going to keep doing the same thing. The process that I'm showing you guys here is exactly the same process that you would do on regular window tinting. The benefit of this one here, once again, is that you have no adhesive. Now, anyone that's ever tried to take off window tint will know exactly how difficult it is to remove a film once you've got adhesive on there. Trim this one here back so the weight can go away and it stops dropping this corner here down. The sharper your blade, the easier it'll be. So once we've trimmed everything down, what we can do now is take the spray bottle once again, give it a light spray over the face. And the reason why we do this is just to make sure that our squeegee can glide nice and simple or nice and smooth. And what we're doing at this point is we're pushing any of that excess water that might be still behind the film out to the edges. Now that we've trimmed it all hard up against those edges, the water will just simply ooze out the side. And you can just run this all the way over the whole surface. Pushing out all that excess water. So you can see all those little bubbles. That's where the water is. So now that we've removed all the excess water, we can take a little rag, clean off the surface. And once that's all nice and clean, you can see if you've missed anything. So we can see there's a little bubble right here. Push that one out to the side. Once again over here, follow it all the way through. Wipe that all down nice and clean. And that one there is now completely covered Nice and simple, we just simply dry everything off around the edges and let it be. Um, like I said, it's really easy to remove. You just simply go back to one of the corners, take a little blade, peel it off slowly, and that'll just simply come right off because it's adhered using static. Um, so I'm going to repeat the same process on this top window, and then I'll see you guys once it's all complete, and I'll show you guys the big difference. And once both windows have been frosted, this here is the finished product. So there's no way anybody can see in or out. At the same time, it's still letting in a fair bit of light. So whether you wanted to have a little bit more light or a little bit less, um, there's always a solution out there for you. There's a whole range of different products. You can get out there and check it out yourself. Um, but there's no way no one's going to be able to peep through these windows now. Um, whether it's temporary or permanent, nice little solution with zero adhesive. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. You've learned something new. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.